Welcome back to Jessica's Craft Time. My name's Jessica and for today's Whip and Chat, um, I've got my diamond painting sitting here ready to go. So we'll get stuck into that soon. But I thought I'd show you a few of the things that I've been working on this week. Um, I've been enabled. I've picked up my cross stitching again. Now I worked for Spotlight when I left high school, during high school actually. Um, and worked for them for about five years, picked up lots of many different crafts. I'm, I know where this one came from. I don't know where this came from. These have been packed up in a box for a long time, like a long time, 15 years ish, give or take, maybe a few more, maybe a few less. Um, but I ordered a few small kits. To start cross stitching again because I couldn't be bothered going out to the garage and digging through what I had. They haven't come in yet because, you know, pandemic, stupid post. So I went out to the garage and I dug through what I had there. I've got rid of a couple. I've given one away that's half done because I'm just not going to do it again. I don't need to be carrying it around. There was a few that I couldn't even match up what the patterns to what canvas and where I'd started. So I'm like, yep, they can go. But I came across these. Now I came across this one here. This is a coaster. I actually had two and you can probably tell, I don't know, you can probably tell by the color difference. This one I completed when I purchased these. My girlfriend and I, I think I was probably a year out of high school and we wanted something to do. We were sitting at home for the weekend. It was a quiet weekend. We wanted something to do. So we went down to the local $2 shop, cheap shop, Asian shop, whatever you want to call it. And we purchased a couple of things to do. So I completed this one. This one I've used on and off for the last, it's a bit dinged up and it's not quite as shiny anymore. And when I went through my box, I found the pair to it. It was half completed. My cross stitch is not fantastic. I haven't done it for a long time. I'm still getting to know what to what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. But I completed it and I'm so excited to be able to use both my coasters now. So one I'm going to keep out here for when I bring my drink out here. And the other one I'm going to put on my dining room table inside. So yeah, I, I've just got a bit of cork in the back. Um, this one I actually trimmed to fit. This one I squished in. So I need to sort of trim it a little bit more. It's a bit bubbly. But yeah, so the, they hold up. They've, they've been used. They're good because they've got the plastic so you can wipe it out. You can put hot or cold drinks on them. So that is one completion. The other one was this, which is a partial. Don't look too closely on my stitching. Um, it's not fantastic. Mm -hmm. But it gave me a good chance to play around. So it's only a partial. It's got some highlights here and there. Um, but I quite like it. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm just really, really happy I've finished something. And I've completed something that was sitting here. This was a full kit. It came with the pattern and the threads. Um, I had bits and pieces of it left. So anyway, it's turned out nice. I don't know what I'll do with it, whether I'll try and find a frame that'll fit in it, whether it'll just go in my portfolio, probably my portfolio for now, until I can think of someone to give it to. But I completed some cross stitch. I haven't completed any diamond painting this week. I, um, what did I do? I, ah, uh, I started working on the dinosaur. Let me just get all this stuff out before we start chatting. I'll bring you down a little bit closer. Hang on, I forgot I need to plug you into. Or else you're going to die on me. Alright, I'm going to bring you down a little bit closer. And you can see what I'm working on. Um, oh, I did bring my other pen out with my Everlasting Tips in it. Love them, love them, love them. So I haven't worked on this one yet with my Everlasting Tips. But we are going to today. Because I forgot to bring it out last week. But I went to sit down and went, oh, I better go and get my other pen. Um, this pen came from a mystery diamond painting that I got. I just dropped some washi tape. Um... It was a mystery diamond painting, which I wouldn't write home about, not impressed with, but the pen is quite nice. So I'm just putting it down to the fact that I brought a pen when I brought that one. So anyway, um, 
Yeah, so I started working. Oh, I, I've already spilled them. How do I spill them already? I'm a shocker. So I started working on my dinosaur diamond painting for uh, um, my son. I did the whole top section. I did probably about this wide. It's quite a wide diamond painting. <sighs> I'm not happy. I'm not happy. It's... The drills are popping. The canvas is like bubbling in spots. The canvas won't lay flat. It's not rivets or anything. It's just like, I don't know. It's like it's sat on something with a ball under it and they're bubbling. The whole canvas is bubbling up, which it hasn't. It's been hanging up. I'm not impressed with it. I finished the top of it and I'm like, why am I going to work on this? It is popping something shocking. So, I put it to the side. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. What have I done here? I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I'm not working on it anymore. Oh, they're all sliding. I'm just not. I, I don't want to put my time into something that's not going to work. So then I went on the hunt for another diamond painting because he's so excited that I was doing him a dinosaur diamond painting for him. He's already got two in his room. He's got a huge five panel. This is not working. It's there. I think I tried to do this with the other one. They're just spaced a bit too far away. I'm going to have to single place. Um, he's already got a big five panel animal one, which I love. And then he's got like a little special drill dragon in his room. So I don't know where I'm going to put a dinosaur one, but he wants me to do it for him. And he's my son, so, you know, I'll do it for him. So then I went searching for a dinosaur one. Now, I want to get something that's licensed. So I found two. I found one at Crystal Canvas Art if I'm correct of the address and it's a big T-Rex in the like rhinestone crystal and I'm thinking that's the one I'm going to go with it's just the fact that it's a killer that the postage from America to Australia is going to cost me the same as the diamond painting so I haven't ordered it yet um She's been having issues with her website that is frustrating her to no end. Um, and I was emailing her backwards and forwards and I'm going to wait until her website's up and going. I don't need to add extra stress to her by having to do an international order at the moment. The other one I found was Treasure Art Studios, I think is the correct name. Um, but... It's of multiple dinosaurs, but I'm just, I don't know. I haven't fallen in love with it. So if anyone knows of any other dinosaur diamond paintings out there that are licensed or through a company that does, uses licensed images, um, I want to support artists. I want to make sure the company that I order from is doing that so I'm going to be a little bit more particular of where I order my canvases from I do have a few canvases coming in so I have a little bit of a stockpile I don't have a lot of room to stockpile so what you see in the unboxing baggings might slow down for diamond paintings until I've caught up and done them I really really don't want to have a huge stash of them um, so yeah, if anyone knows of somewhere or knows of a dinosaur diamond painting, pop it in the comments below. I'd love to check it out and see it. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Yeah, so that's, and now I've started on another canvas from Shoalhaven. Uh, Shoalhaven Diamond Sparklies, I think she, she's just changed her name. This be diamond dots. 
Um, so I've started on that, but I haven't got very far because then I picked up the cross stitch and I've been playing with that. So I haven't done much diamond painting this week at all. But in good news, hubby has gone back to work for the first time in just over two months. And I'm home alone. And I'm loving it. I'm going to catch up on all my jobs that I've meant to have been done, all the phone calls I've meant to have made, and catch up on everything over the next couple of days. So that is awesome news for us. It's going to make life a little bit easier. So, yeah, I'm not having him hang around and make sure he's not going to come out to the garage while I'm filming and... Yeah, it's just, it's just different when you're home on your own. You have your own routines and, you know, I can clean the house and not have it get messy until 3.30, which is awesome. So, that's the update on life at the moment. Um, what did we do last week? So, we had uh, preschool the end of last week and then what colour do I want to do next? Might do three. Um, yeah, so preschool at the end of last week. My son went down to his grandparents Friday night, which was nice. Hubby and I had the house to ourselves. I had a nice long... Oh, no, I had a bath on Saturday night. I did some... I, that's when I was doing the diamond painting and realised that I don't want to continue doing this one. So I gave up and spent a fair bit of time looking for a new one, which I haven't found yet. I have, but I haven't. I think I'm going to go the T-Rex. I just, just so much in postage. It's just a killer. And then it takes ages to come as well. I'm waiting on four or five orders from America for between them and us, it's taking forever and it's not the people that I've got them off's fault at all it's just the way things are at the moment so so yeah Friday night had house to ourselves and he was down there Saturday as well and he came home late Saturday night he had dinner with them and they dropped him off after dinner um so that was nice I didn't do much I just did some crafty stuff did did some kidding up of the new diamond painting I'm doing I think I did a few videos yes I did I did some videos on Saturday that's what I did and I think hubby just watched tv he did some catching up on his xbox playing then Sunday was father's day here so we had breakfast at home and then we went down to the in-laws and they took us out for lunch which was really nice we went to a seafood restaurant in Wollongong and it was, we had a big seafood platter and it was the seafood platters I like. I like the seafood platters that have sort of grilled or, f or um, baked seafood. I don't particularly like the deep fried seafood. Like I don't mind a little bit, but they had lobster and bugs and prawns and uh, mussels and scallops. And the salad was really good on it too. So that was really nice. We were walking. It was really crazy busy down there. It was a nice day. It was really hard for parking. So we finally found a car park and we were walking along the water where all the boats are moored. And we saw this huge stingray. He was like a meter or more across. He was huge and he was sort of swimming along the side of the wall eating, I'm assuming. So that was pretty exciting. And then, as we know, my son's got a new uh, bike. So we took him down to the bike shop to get him, uh, get a helmet for him, make sure it was one that he liked and one that was, that fits him. So he's excited. He went off to preschool this morning. I'm like, okay, grab your old policeman helmet that's good that can be like your preschool helmet and then you've got your new blue helmet he's like no mummy I want to take my new blue helmet because I want to show everyone my new helmet whether they get up to the bike track or not today I don't know it's um raining here or it was this morning 
think it's eased off now, so he'll probably come home filthy. Oh, that's what happened on Thursday. I think it was th yeah, Thursday night. So hubby went down to pick up, pick him up from preschool. And I get a phone call from him. And my heart skips a beat. I'm like, why is he calling me? He's gone five minutes down the road. What's happened? Oh no, like I'm like already preparing myself to like run inside and, and get my shoes on and something's happened. And he's like, um, can you stop whatever you're doing and go and run a bath? I'm like, what? He goes, go and run a bath. Mark is black. I'm like, what? So they have a bike track at preschool. And that's where they generally go towards the end of preschool. They go up there and ride their bikes around. But it also has the dirt kitchen and they have big dump trucks and he had been playing in the dirt and he was, I ran the bath for him and they got home and I put him in the bath and kind of gave him a quick rinse off. And I looked at the bath water and I'm like, okay, stand up. I'm emptying this bath and had to run him another bath. I'm like, you can't bathe in this water. It's already filthy. Like, no. So he had a big long bath and it was so ingrained in him that I scrubbed and scrubbed and he soaked and soaked and I still don't know if we got it all off his foot, but whatever. He had fun and then he keeps going, but mummy, that's what preschool's all about, to come home messy. I'm like, yeah, but I don't normally like, I had, to, I had to actually scrub his shoes and I couldn't get my brush I use in the laundry down to his toes. So I had to stick my fingers in there and like scrape the dirt out. It was gross. He was feral. So... That's all right. We cleaned him up. But I'm surprised hubby didn't call and say, bring your car. He's not getting in mine. So he was just, he was filthy. So yeah, Sunday we went down the bike shop. By the time we did that, then we went back. So he, he's like, I want to go and play with Bubba. So he went and played with his grandma for half an hour or so. By the time we got home and had dinner, that was sort of Sunday done. So I think hubby enjoyed himself. He liked his presence. So I suppose that's always a positive. Um, and then Monday. Oh, Monday we took the training wheels off the new bike. What, what number? I forgot what number I was doing. So Monday we took the training wheels off the bike. We put the new kickstand on the bike. Took him down the bike track. And he blew me away. I really thought, because the bike's quite a bit heavier than his last one. It's a bigger bike. And I really, really thought that he was going to come off. Because I even said to hubby, I'm like, okay, we need to go and put pants on him. He's like, why? It's hot. It was like 30 degrees or something. I'm like, but if he falls off, at least it's going to protect his knees a little bit. No, 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 he'll be fine. Well, luckily he was fine. We didn't have any grazed knees. He managed to do that going to swimming. Comes home. We need, we need better Dean. I'm like, what? He's grazed his knee. And I'm like, how did he do that? Oh, just being silly in the car park. I'm like, okay. So yeah, then yesterday, um, he had swimming. It was hubby's last day at home. So we had to do a few jobs. Um, had an appointment in the afternoon, took him swimming, which was nice because I'm like, all right, you're going back to work, so you can take him swimming this week. It'll be your last chance to take him, which was also meant that I could stay home and clean the house because I didn't want to spend, come on, slide over here. I didn't want to spend my first day at home alone with no one tagging me or calling me or just a bit of me time um you know cleaning as well but I didn't want to spend the entire day cleaning so while they were at swimming I managed to clean the bathroom and mop all the floors pick up everything mop the floors clean up a bit which was nice I don't know about you but for me um having a clean space makes me feel better I find if it gets messy, it gets to a point that it gets so messy that I'm like, 
I just can't. I can't do it. I can't. It takes a lot more effort to clean, where if I do it regularly, it's not as bad. And I like the feeling in a clean house. So at least the house is going to stay clean for the next six hours until everyone gets home. And then a toy store will go off again. So that's been my week. Nothing overly exciting. The stingray, seeing the stingray was pretty exciting. Clean, did a bit of cleaning yesterday and washing. It was a beautiful day. The sun was out. And of course I wake up this morning and I left all the towels on the line last night. And I wake up this morning and it's not raining, raining. It was, it was drizzling, but the ground was pretty wet. Like, oh, I'm going to have to go and take all those towels off and put them back through the machine and spin the water out of them because they're going to be drenched. And then hang them up again. So I went and took them off the line, but they weren't, they weren't um, dripping wet. They were just a little bit wet. So they must have actually dried before it started raining. So I've taken them off and put them on the clothes horse under cover. So now I've just got to wait for them to dry. So I'm an extra... An extra diamond. So yeah, that's that's been this week. I did complete something that'll come up. I think it's still got two or three more to go before you see the end product. Because I got a bit ahead of filming of that because I was excited and just wanted it finished. So that was exciting. Oh, that's what we did on Saturday. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Today's just the spill the drill day. So, the first miniature room, I don't know if you remember or have watched the first miniature room. But it didn't come with a dust cover. And I've done it again. There's, I've got, I've got three here and I think only one of them's got a dust cover on them. So... I went to hubby. I really want to put a dust cover on this. Because if we don't, it's going to get dusty. You can't dust these things. These miniature rooms, I mean, you could, but it would take forever. And I'm like, if it's going to sit on the bookcase, it's going to get dusty really quickly. The bookcase is near the back door. I'm a shocker for sh closing the back door. So it gets dusty quickly. So we went down to Bunnings, and on the way to Bunnings, <laughs> we're sitting behind this car. I was like, hmm, I think that guy has a hammer on his roof. I'm like, yes, yes he does. So this guy was driving along, and he had a hammer on his roof. So when we took off, we got round him and pulled up beside him and said, he yelled out, did you know you've got a hammer on your roof? And his facial expression and something you had to be there but he's just like oh, oh really and like he sort of slams his brakes on almost straight away and then he's like no hang on I'm driving along a road here it's like 70 80 k's along here so he slows down throws on his indicator I'm pretty sure he went into a there was a service station there I'm pretty sure he went in the exit but he was just like I've got to get this thing off my roof it was a decently old hammer it had rust on it but his expression was also like oh no now I know where that left where I left that hammer I couldn't find and hubby and I had a good laugh about it the whole way back and it wasn't because this guy left a hammer on the roof it's because we've done it before so we went camping last year and hubby starts he can't find the rubber mallet I'm like well He's telling me that I've taken it. I'm like, I haven't touched the damn rubber mallet. I've been inside the tent, you know, starting to blow up air mattresses and opening and shutting doors. And it was quite a warm day. So I was trying to open some of the windows, get some airflow in the tent because it was quite warm in there while he was out putting all the pegs, like the final pegs on, on the tent to make sure that, you know, we're not going to blow away. So... And he's like, but you've put, you've put it somewhere. I'm like, I haven't touched the damn rubber mallet. It, I haven't done it. Anyway, things were getting pretty heated. The people that we were camping with, they, he came over to offer help. And then he's like, no, I'll just let you guys do it. 
<sighs> but hubby and I do get heated like that. It's all good. We don't, we don't. We still love each other. It's just our way of communicating. So we'd been, where we were, it was a good 20 minute drive along dirt roads back to a sealed road and then like another 20 minutes down to the main highway. Then we drove down the highway for probably 10, 15 minutes at 110. And then from there we drove around the little town that we're in. Then we went four-wheel driving on the beach, which is quite a bumpy road in. It's quite a bumpy road out. It's even bumpier when you get stuck and you have to be towed out, which we did, which we kind of knew we would. Um, my car's not... It's four-wheel drive, but it's not four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Um, so we kind of knew we'd get stuck coming out, which was fine. We had one person in front of us and one person behind knowing that there was a possibility that they'd have to tow us out, which they did. We got out. They went to stop to take the tow rope off, and I'm like, no, no, don't stop. We'll never get going again. Just go, go, go. And we got out. So, and when you go on sand, you have to let your tyres down so that, you know, you don't get as bogged. And I think that's part of the reason. I think Hubby was a bit hesitant and didn't quite let our tyres down enough. Anyway, we got out. It was all fine. It was a great day, except for the fact that my son burnt his hand on the hot plate. We'd just cooked some lunch and he was just walking past and he tripped in the sand and, you know, put his hand down to stop himself. And of course it was straight onto the hot plate. Okay. It wasn't as bad as we thought it would be. We dealt with it. We had a nurse with us and we had first aid kits with us and everything. So we dealt with it. Then it's not, you can either stop when you get off this track and there's like a little parking area and pump your tires up there. Or about a kilometre down the road, there's a service station. And it's a very well-known four-wheel drive track. So most people just drive slowly along the bitumen up to the service station and pump it up. Well, this service station, we get there. So we've been camping. We have a, they have a, the people that we're with have like a, a toilet tent with, a toilet that sort of collects everything and then every day or so you've got to just go and dig a hole and empty it. It does have a flush. It connects up to water too, so you can kind of flush it down. But, you know, it's not the nicest thing. It's warm. It's hot in the tent. It's smelly because basically you're sitting on a bucket of everyone's stuff. Um, so it's not the most, not the nicest place. So we get to the survey and there's three, no, we have four cars. We had three, six, seven kids, two, four, six, eight. No, we had, we had more than seven kids. We had three, no, no, we had seven kids and two, four, six, eight, nine or ten, nine adults. So there's a few of us. And we get to the servo and we have to pump up our tyres. And our tyres take, I don't know what was wrong with their pump, but it would have been quicker to plug it into the cigarette lighter and pump it ourselves. It was taking forever. But the worst thing was the fact that we got to this servo and everyone's like, sweet, I can go to the toilet. Yeah, their toilet broke. They had no toilet. So that was a bummer. But anyway, back to the hammer. Hubby's standing there putting air in our tyres and he looks at the roof of the car and our damn rubber mallet is sitting on the roof of the car. It had been there that entire trip. It had not come off. I'm surprised it hadn't come off. I'm very lucky it hadn't come off because we had people following us so if it had come off it would have gone through their windscreens. And I'm like, he's like, oh my God, I just found the rubber mallet. I'm like, well, I told you I didn't do it. I wouldn't have put it on the roof. I'm too short. I can't reach the roof of the car. Just my finger in it. Sorry, the light's glaring off it and I can't see it. 
So we had this chuckle about this guy that had left his rubber mallet, his hammer on the roof of the car, because we'd been in that position. We'd done it ourselves. Um, so we got to Bunnings and I managed to find some sort of plastic covering. They didn't have exactly what I wanted, but I've maybe managed to make a dust cover for the room that I completed. I had a lot of trouble because the stuff that I found is like an acetate sheet. So it's, it's decently thick. It's not as thick as like a, what the dust covers come as. Um, so it was bent a little bit. So I've tried to unbend it. I've tried heating it. I've stuck the top on with and the sides with double-sided tape. But the front of it, I didn't match it up completely. So it wasn't quite sticking. And then because the room is quite wide, it was kind of bending on the corners. So I stuck one side with super glue. Do not use it. <laughs> the super glue has made it all foggy, the plastic where it's touched. And not just where it's touched, it's kind of spread a bit. Made it all, the plastic all foggy. So super glue is out. So then I got the front on and I used the E6000. And that seems to have worked. It's not the prettiest. You can definitely see where I've put the, the glue. But, you know, I can't do anything about that. It's, it's covered now. It's covered. It's not going to get full of dust. Um, so that makes me happy and now I have a massive roll of a meter by a meter I think it was so I have plenty left over for any others that I want to cover and I think the other one I know one of the other ones that I've got to do it's not a big room so it'll be easy to cover it's not quite like the one that I just did but that's what my whole doll's house miniature whatever you want to call it miniature room that's what it's all about I I'm experimenting. I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional at diamond painting. I just like sharing, sharing things with people. So that's what you've got. Um, what color was I doing? F. So yeah, that that's um that's what happened on Saturday. I forgot about that one. Our Bunnings trip, but <laughs> hubby got really frustrated because we we went into Bunnings and found what they had. And then I'm like, okay, well, do we go to Officeworks and see what they have? Because I think they might have something. And Hubby looked it up and he's like, yeah, they've got clear acetate sheet. I'm like, oh, perfect. That's what we want. We got there. The guy that helped us directed us in the wrong, the wrong spot. I did J before, didn't I? Finally found it and it, it was perfect. It was a bit thicker than what I had. It would have worked a lot better than what I brought, but it was no means clear. I thought I saw another J somewhere. It wasn't clear at all. It wasn't anywhere near clear. It was like a frosted, frosted um, plastic, so it wouldn't have worked. So we went back to Bunnings. I was working on F, wasn't I? So yeah, that, that was our Bunnings trip. That took a bit, but we got there in the end. And then, oh, what? I don't know if, oh yeah, I told you I did the hard rubbish. Got that collected, which is good. And then, do you know what happens? Oh, Toss my head in. We have this old chair in the backyard. Like, should we get rid of it? No, no, no. It's, it's quite a sturdy chair metal legs it's got a cushion on it and it gets wet and it dries out but it's good for you know if you need a little bit of height out there you stand on it or it's just a quite often just put the wash basket on it when I'm hanging stuff on the clothes horse and of course what happens after the hard rubbish has been collected the damn chair breaks the cushion came off the bottom of it and we could probably screw it in but I think the screw holes have well and truly worn way too big so now I have a broken chair and how rubbish has been collected already. So, bugger. It's so now going to sit around the side of the house for the next 12 months before we have enough to warrant booking in a hard rubbish collection because I don't feel that we should book it in for one or two items. Excuse me. 
<coughs> so, yeah. Now I'm back to hard rubbish again. And we just got rid of it. I was so excited we just got rid of it all. Damn it, it's always the case. Always the case. There was another three. Maybe it was the threes I was thinking of, not the J's. So yeah, now I've got another bit of hard rubbish already. I'm not excited about that at all. So what's everyone been up to? We're getting closer to our 50 subscriber giveaway. It's um getting closer, getting closer. But I think we might wrap this up. Um, I might work on this one a little bit this week. Or else we're going to be whipping and chatting with this one for a long while to come. So I might at least finish this square during the week. Um, I've got to go and design some Christmas cards. I've got to make some for some friends of mine. I'm trying to get all my Christmas cards done early. So I'm going to go and do that now. But thank you all very, very much for joining me. Make sure I've got all of those before I put it away. Um, I'm going to finish this little corner at some point during the week so that we've got, um, we can move on to a new project sooner. But thank you all very much for joining me. Um, have a lovely, lovely day. And yeah, if you like my videos, please think about subscribing. I'll see you all soon. Bye.